Hi, I'm Larissa. Welcome to my video for my cord cutting ritual. So what is cord cutting exactly? Well, cord cutting is basically just severing energetic ties that you have to people, which actually is like a real phenomenon in quantum physics, which I'm not going to get into uh, the specifics of, but you're free to <laughs> look into where we actually do mingle energy and frequencies with people. And you're probably conscious of the fact that you might be doing that emotionally anyways, but it's actually weirdly a cellular thing. So we also want to release people from our energy field. And you can do this on a daily basis. If you get in the habit of doing it, you'll just sort of just do it, you know, oh, that person was taught. I went to the grocery store. That person was toxic as heck. Uh, just releasing it and moving on with your day. So you're not thinking about it after the fact, like dwelling on what, what should I send to that woman, whatever. But we also have like energetic ties, obviously to people from our past, like, you know, from childhood or high school years or just other situations, family, whatever. And, or like exes, all of this stuff. And they, and they somehow like still, even if we don't see them anymore, they somehow still kind of are doing things in the background. Like their energy is somehow still affecting us. So this can be really powerful for releasing ties, especially with done with the, the accompanying tapping video that I have for releasing resentment, because it's really wild how the subconscious mind works, but we, because our ego basically like sees anything, it's like always trying to keep us safe. So if it sees anything as a threat, it could be like, oh, that person reminds me of like this person in the past and they're going to do something. But then it creates this strange magnetism where we can end up like playing out these old cycles. It's really wild how all of this stuff works. So and people can still be draining us. Some people are doing it on purpose for sure, but some people are not even like conscious that they're still draining you, right? Like you have a bad experience with someone and you're still dwelling on it. It's like, you're still giving that person all of this energy. And uh, you know, that saying like living in your head rent free, it's that. So this is really good for releasing ties to whether it's like the Karen at the grocery store <laughs> or whether it's like from your childhood, anything like that, no matter what, we have all of these energetic ties going out to people and it allows us to be triggered. It allows us to keep repeating these cycles that we don't wanna be in and attracting more energy like that. Like the more energy we have kind of put into that, the more we attract. So completely clearing your field of that type of energy actually like begins to reduce it and get rid of it entirely. And then you're open to attract more aligned energy, right? Because we don't want all of those people's uh, energy in our fields, especially when we have negative feelings about it. And sometimes if you do a cord cutting technique on a specific person, they might actually randomly text you or something because <laughs> it's strange how that works. And uh, it's happened to me before, but don't worry about it because I've also added these other two tapping exercises in this video so it's just getting those boundaries up, getting your energy nice and high. And so it's like, even if you cut uh, energy, like energy ties with somebody and suddenly out of nowhere, you hear from them, it, you don't have to engage with them. You know what I mean? You can just be like, oh, that's nice. Just ignore it or great. It won't affect you anymore because when you cut the ties, that doesn't affect you. So you can do this practice on specific people. You can do it just once. If it's a person from your past, you can do it on a daily basis, if you want, if you're, if you have like really annoying coworkers or you're around people that are driving you insane and the more frequently you kind of do it, you'll just find your own flow and you'll just be able to kind of do it in your head. Um, like I said, where you just walk away from the Karen and it's like, not even going to think about that person later. So this is a really powerful technique. And of course, make it your own by changing a few of the words or, changing how you do it if that feels comfortable, but this is a really good foundation for you to do this. I have found incorporating tapping actually way more powerful than the classic cord cutting technique, which is why I've added it. So we'll be going through the first section, which is just gonna be one cycle of tapping, um, just saying affirmations that you're safe to release obligations, safe to assert boundaries, et cetera. And then we will do the cord cutting actual activity itself, which will be a visualization, but if you can't visualize, that's okay. Just try to imagine through uh, the sensory aspects where we'll be tapping into it. And that will also be good for moving it through your body. So you'll also have a kinesthetic response, even if you're not seeing it as well. 
And then after we finish doing the actual visualization, which you can do on one specific person, a few people might come up in it and you're free to do it however feels right for you, but you might have to come back to this exercise multiple times for different people. And then at the end, I will just do a quick tapping one cycle, tapping in affirmations of I'm safe to enforce my boundaries, my energy is sacred and that kind of stuff. And so you're free to do any of these three exercises at any point you want, whatever feels the best for you. So for the first part, we will do a tapping technique and we'll just be moving through the meridian points at the top of the head, between the eyebrows, outside of the eyes, under the eyes, under the nose, chin, collar, collarbones here, armpit about four inches below the armpit, and then we'll do the karate chop. And I'll have you repeat what I'm saying after me. And we'll also make sure that we're doing nice deep breathing while we're doing this, letting whatever comes up, come up and just be processed. And you wanna be doing it with a nice firm, a firm amount, not too strong. You don't wanna hurt yourself, but you don't also wanna do it too light. So just a nice firm and you can use two fingers, three fingers or four fingers, whatever feels the most comfortable for you. You can do two hands or one. Again, this is just solely up to you. There's no right or wrong way to do it. And this just helps these feelings move through the body. It just helps the neural pathway. So we'll start up here, the top of the head and nice deep breath in through the nose, hold and out through the mouth. And I'll have you repeat after me. I am safe to release obligation. 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 Between the eyes. I am safe to assert boundaries. I am safe to assert boundaries. Nice deep breath in and out. I am safe to assert boundaries. I am safe to assert boundaries. I am safe to assert boundaries. Outside of the eyes, I am safe to move on. I am safe to move on. I am safe to move on. You can picture yourself like a white glowing ball if you want right now. I am safe to move on. I am safe to move on. Just knowing that you're safe and supported here today, just filling yourself with that safety and trust, trusting that this will be the best thing for you and that you're trusting your own intuition and that you are safe to trust yourself today, okay? Under the eyes, I am safe to feel good. 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 And under the nose, I am safe to let go of worry today. I am safe to let go of worry today. Nice deep breath in. Just really trusting yourself. I am safe to let go of worry today. I am safe to let go of worry today. I am safe to let go of worry today. Chin. I am safe to let go of fear today. Nice deep breath. I am safe to let go of fear today. I am safe to let go of fear today. I am safe to let go of fear today. I am safe to let go of fear today. 
Okay, and collarbone, right under the collarbone there. I am safe to cut these cords today. I am safe to cut these cords today. I am safe to cut these cords today. I'm safe to cut these cords today. Really feeling that safety in your body. I am safe to cut these cords today. And then under the armpit, I am safe to call back my energy. I'm safe to call back my energy. I'm safe to hold on to my energy. I'm safe to hold on to my energy. I'm safe to respect my energy. My energy is mine. My energy is mine. Inside of the hand, I am safe to let go of that which doesn't serve me. I am safe to let go of that which doesn't serve me. I'm safe to let go of anything toxic. I am safe to let go of anything that's causing me pain. I am safe to let go of anything that's causing me shame. I am safe to let go of anything that's causing me guilt. I'm safe to let go of anything that's causing me anger. So for this section, we'll be doing the actual cord cutting ritual. And you might have a specific person in mind, or you might just want to see whoever comes up, whichever feels more natural to you. That's perfect. So I'm just going to get you to take some nice deep breaths, hold, and release. And just set your intention, whether that's out loud or just to yourself, what you really want to accomplish from this, what you want to release, whether it's just a general releasing of energy or ties to this specific person, or if there's something you want to release specifically by cutting ties with this person. And as you're imagining this and thinking about this, just let your light field shine outside of yourself. So starting in the heart center, this beautiful white light that just begins to shine outwards. And I'm gonna, as you keep breathing, get you to close your eyes if they aren't already and make sure you're nice and comfortable in your chair. If you wanna lie down, that's perfectly fine too. This will go into relaxation territory. So once you're comfortable with your eyes closed, you can look up between your brows so that's around the third, where the third eye is. And that just allows you to access a new state inside of your mind. And you can put one hand on your heart and one on your belly if that feels nice and comfortable and relaxing. And I want you to imagine there's a beautiful energy coming from within. So you might already have this in your heart space shining out and that will just intensify and expand. And the more you let this light fill you up, the less space there is for obligation, resentment, remorse, anger, moving through your head. This beautiful energy is just moving through your head, through your face, through your neck and your shoulders, through your heart, your lungs, your stomach, your pelvis, down your legs, your thighs, your calves, through your feet, down your arms, through your hands and your fingers. And now I want you to imagine that you're standing in front of a, sh a short stairwell made of stones and you can see that it's heading towards a beautiful garden. And so I want you to step down those stone stairs towards that beautiful garden, going down. Nice deep breaths in and out. And with each step you take, you become more and more relaxed. 10, down to the ninth step, down to the eighth step, becoming more relaxed and serene. Seven, 
six. With each breath, you feel more relaxed. Five, feeling the stone beneath your feet, feeling safe and relaxed. Four, so safe. Three, so relaxed. And two, into a welcoming space that was created just for you. You can see it on the horizon. One and zero. And you step onto a beautiful garden path and perhaps you can feel little pebbles or grass under your feet and you see that it leads to an outdoor cinema. It's nighttime, but the moon is shining very brightly and there are fireflies lighting everything up, including the path. And it's full of flowers and trees, all of your favorite flowers and trees as if it was designed just for you, this beautiful space. And there is a stage made out of wood and earth and grass. And it's supported by flowers and stones and little pools of water with light shining out of them. And you become aware that anyone who comes out onto the stage won't be able to see you in the audience. You are just there to observe and release your ties to them, release your cords today. And you are guided by a little white light, perhaps a fairy or a cosmic being toward a throne made of white light that was built just for you. And the throne is on a little island that was built just for you. And it's surrounded by a beautiful moat of cosmic white silvery light. And you cross a little bridge made of wood in order to get to the island. This island has your throne inside of it, inside of a beautiful energy bubble that allows you to be in a state of complete abundance when you are in it. And you sit down in the throne and get nice and comfortable. It's perfect just for you. There's a pair of large silver scissors on a velvet cushion beside you. And you know that this is for cutting cords with people who are draining your energy. You have negative feelings or emotions towards. Maybe something happened with them in the past that you haven't been able to let go of. Maybe they did something or didn't do something. However you have a connection to this person residual resentment or annoyance, whatever it is, can be big, it can be small. And you know that when you cut the cord with these beautiful silver scissors, you will be able to be free of their energy finally forever. They will no longer be able to affect you in the way that they have before. And you'll be able to move on and they will too. You will just both be released from each other. And now when you're ready and you would like to call upon the person you would like to release today, you can say their name out loud if you want, or maybe they already have stepped onto the stage. They can't see you unless you want them to. And they just step onto the stage, onto the grass, under the moonlight. And that's, that's the only place they can go. They are confined to that stage. And you feel really safe right now, realizing that. And you also realize from your throne and this distance that this person can no longer affect you in the way that they used to. And perhaps you look at them through new eyes and see that they're just a human being with no power over you. A person who is just doing their own patterns and projections. And it's time for you to release them from your energy field. And perhaps emotions might be coming up for you as you look at them or you might feel completely neutral, everyone's different. So just allow yourself a few moments. Maybe you have something you wanna to say to them, or maybe they have something they wanna to say to you, or just something you want to let rise up inside of you to be released. And just honor that moment of space, knowing that they can no longer affect you. And they are a fading memory or a fading feeling. Perhaps you have learned something positive from this experience, even though it has drained you. And that learning will stay with you if you want it to, that positive learning. But the person and the situation and their energy, you are free to release that now and move on.
And when you are ready, you can cut the cord. And you can take the silver scissors in your hands and just cut that cord, whether it's maybe like a braid or like a silver thread, or maybe it's tar and it looks like a hose. However it looks, your scissors are strong enough and you just simply cut it very easily. And it falls away now, this thread. And they'll no longer be able to attach to your energy. And you see them beginning to fade. And the more they fade, the more forgiveness and love you feel inside of yourself. They begin to disappear as their energy body returns to where it's supposed to. It was never meant to be attached to yours. You were never meant to be attached to them. It's time to be free and let them go. And you can just send them forgiveness if that feels comfortable, but importantly, send forgiveness to yourself. And with your eyes closed still, if you wanna tap on the top of your head and repeat after me, and you can just say it quietly, however you have affected me in the past, you are no longer able to. However you have affected me in the past, you are no longer able to. And tap between the eyebrows now. Whatever pain or feelings you gave me in the past, nice and deep, deep breaths. I am releasing them now. Whatever pain or feelings you gave me in the past, I am releasing them now. And you can tap outside of your eyes now as gently or formally as you feel. Whatever pain you caused, I now forgive. Making sure to breathe in. Whatever pain you caused, I can now forgive. And with each breath and forgiveness you send out, they disappear because they no longer have power over you when you forgive. Whatever pain you caused, I now forgive. And now tapping under your eyes, thank you for what you taught me, but I have learned this lesson and I'm moving on. Thank you for what you taught me but I no longer need this lesson and I am moving on. And now visualize the cord disintegrating from the ground towards your body. It is just ceasing to exist. It is just dissolving. Thank you for what you taught me, but I no longer need this lesson. And now visualize pulling the remnants of the remaining cord out of your body and it drops into the moat of light and the light dissolves it as if it was never there to begin with because it was never meant to be yours. And from, and from that dissolution, from that energy, just that dark toxic energy dissolving, a beautiful white light begins to form and fill in the hole that is left. It begins to mend and heal and blossom into something beautiful that feels incredible. Now tapping under the nose, I am healing. I love myself. I release all energetic ties to you. I am healing. I love myself. I release all energetic ties to you. And just envisioning that beautiful white light filling you up. It's always been there, but now it's able to shine even brighter because you've allowed space for it. You've removed all of that resentment and toxicity and filled it with your beautiful inner white light. And it shines so bright. And now you can tap on the chin. I love myself. I am filled with forgiveness and light. I get to choose how I feel. I love myself. I am filled with forgiveness and light and I get to choose how I feel. And now tap on the collarbones. 
I forgive you. I forgive myself. I allow myself to be free. And now imagine the white light filling your entire being and it's expanding outwards beyond your throne, beyond the little island you're on. And it just completely covers that stage in beautiful white light. It just eclipses any remaining memories or energies and it just shrouds it in beautiful white light, just eclipses it with beautiful white light, forgiveness and self-love and free energy. I forgive you, I forgive myself, I allow myself to be free. And now tap on the karate chop. I have moved on from this. I am powerful. I love myself. I accept myself. I have moved on from this. I am powerful. I love myself. I accept myself. And now when you're ready, and you may have already put down the scissors and you can put them back on the cushion knowing that you can use them at any time you would like to cut other energetic cords with people. But you also know as you stand up from the throne, the th but you also realize as you stand up from the throne and begin walking towards the little bridge that you can already feel your energy completely shifting and that perhaps other people's ties to you, energetic cords are also not able to survive in this beautiful, abundant, white, joyful light that's already emanating from your body and from your spirit. It's very hard for toxicity to survive in this environment because you're just emitting too much joy. And so I'll have you walk back now, back across the path through the beautiful garden, and you just leave this beautiful trail of cosmic abundance and light behind you, of joy, just it's actually causing flowers to bloom, even more flowers, trees, little sprouts to come up behind you because you are just radiating pure self-forgiveness, forgiveness, love, and joy. And you're going to walk back up those steps now, back up to the present moment. One, coming back into your body. Two, and you can feel your feet and your legs. Three, feeling your stomach feeling your heart, four, five, up your fingers and up your arms into your head, six, back to awareness of where you're sitting, seven, back into your body, back into the room, eight, you're feeling really good, nine, deep breaths, wow, you cut some ties today. And 10, you can open your eyes and take a nice deep stretch, deep breath, big stretch, big breath. Take maybe a sip of water. Yeah, and just feel really good because you just released an attachment or a, an energy that was draining you and now you don't have to, it's gone. And you can repeat this as many times as you want with as many people as you want. But I have found that it just starts to have a, tr a trickle effect outwards. Like even if you only do it for a handful of people, it just becomes unconscious and you're able to just do this like easily and effortlessly where it's just, you don't even, you can just do it almost inside yourself just really quickly and just, no, 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 not letting you attach to my energy. Nope, don't care. <laughs> move on through, move like water, be like water. <laughs> So I hope this was helpful and yeah, I hope you enjoy the next part too, just a little wrap up. Okay, and just for the last part, this is optional if you wanna do it or not, it's just tapping in on reinforcing your boundaries. And if you want to, you can close your eyes. We'll just do a regular tapping cycle. Take some nice deep breaths in and out. Just close your eyes. And if you wanna visualize yourself in a beautiful bubble, a protection bubble of just cosmic light that's always around you. Maybe the shape is different depending on what you want. Maybe it's the shape of a diamond. Maybe it's the shape of your body. It's just like an energy field. Maybe it's the shape of a heart or something else. It's just energy that protects you from 
other people's energy so that you are just always embodied in this beautiful protection bubble. And it also is just like a beautiful energy. So if other people interact with you, they feel that nice, that nice vibe. So we'll tap in on that. So at the top of the head, I am safe to enforce boundaries. Nice deep breaths. I am safe to enforce boundaries. I am safe to enforce my boundaries. Between the eyes, I embody my boundaries. I embody my boundaries. I embody my boundaries. Just imagining that beautiful bubble, just expanding, just fully integrated through your body. So it's part of your body. It's not anything separate. It's just a beautiful bubble that's coming out from within, from your heart space. I embody my boundaries. On the outside of the eyes, saying no is easy for me. Saying no is easy for me. When something is a no for me, I feel safe to say no. When something is a no for me, I feel safe to assert my boundaries. And under the eyes, I embody my yes. I embody my yes. I embody my yes. And just imagining that yes coming out of the, the beautiful bubble that you're in, that coming from your heart space. What is the energy coming out of you when you are in your yes? Is that love? Is that joy? Is that happiness? I'm just letting that fill you. I embody my yes. Knowing that when you are embodying what you want, what you're grateful for, what you love, that you will attract more of it. I embody my yes. I embody what I'm grateful for. I embody what lights me up. Okay, and under the nose, my energy is sacred. My energy is sacred. My energy is sacred. My energy is sacred. And now on the chin, nice deep breaths. My boundaries are sacred. My boundaries are sacred. My boundaries are sacred. When I embody my boundaries, my boundaries are respected. When I embody my boundaries, my boundaries are protected. And now to the collarbones. I choose what I do in the world. I choose what I do in the world. I choose what I give my energy to. I choose what I give my energy to. I choose what I give my energy to. And I choose what energy stays with me. I'm just really picturing that bubble, knowing that your energy is yours. It can't be taken from you. It can't be polluted. It's just your energy bubble. And you are totally strong and firm in that beautiful energy. So my energy is mine. My energy is mine. And under the armpit here, I choose how I feel. I choose what I allow into my energy. I choose what I won't allow into my energy. Nice deep breaths. I choose how I feel. 
I choose how I feel. I choose my reality. I choose how I experience the world. And I choose how I experience other people. And now we're gonna do the karate chop. I release what doesn't serve me and move on immediately. I don't like someone's vibe, it just rolls off me like water. I don't have to take on anyone else's crap. I embody my energy. I choose how I feel. I choose what I take on. I am in control of my energy at all times. My energy is infinite. My energy is powerful. And I choose who gets to experience my energy. And I love myself. Hey, I hope that was helpful.